Defer. You have promised abolishing birth tax, e levy, flat import duty, one time tax amnesty, among others. If you really believe that that is what Ghana needs, why should we wait till you become the president and not implement it now? Abusia for me, Tietje or Bibiara, Aqualanya me. Ena mwensa kani se siya ya yi. Mala makwalanya mina uti ni dino. Mina mwensa kami se siya ano. Mina mida pang soba spiritual and herbal center ano. Ya rie biya eh unkono. Anase wwe chinya 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 bre. Bibiti se apatitis. Bibiti se stroke. Stroke diye eboni eh, pakura tuto formu na wenti minka. Sakura na masha u three days. Masu ya ye uba menjisika. Tiye miye. Masu ya ye uba menjisika. Na minu uba kwa apamu unhu towa. Asidebi wakwa na wadi yaba. Bema diye adie becheno. Ese se wa yinu sori jina honu mu street. Eme se ubi ati maase. Na sa adie na msore on jine street. Diya na ye problem. Enu wani se uwa US o uwa UK. Uba biya uwa biya no. Uba fami nomba. Enu ne guwa si. Enu na wadi afremi. Anase uba ba masu ya ye. Wutu ukwa yin. Se uwa kwa kwa pebi bidi ya ba fiye. Ukwa ya kirata sema juma sema. Chire se una uda kura na usunsum da ye basa basa basa. Enu wani se uba fa pang soba number no na wa frere me wo frere me so a won sabe ka me me kan si su biom wo ba ma so ya me nji sika enu ani se me no be kwa pam wo hoto wa na wodi asida e de aba awu wasem awu wasem wo wo betimi anya sika wa wo botom na mmom awu wonti no wo mbeti ti wo sa ma wo hunu ba bi ya obesi wo de de e be ya ni se frere me ana se bra ma so ya ya na ye nkyere wo se ye de ahahan e na esa yare wa ha no ene ena eye gana mampenyini abedi echiri awo nwa nesaye franka tuni edema npp ya manyukuno eye ura dr mahamad baumia wano so eye meet the press wasini echiri wajwa inia wanti asi eno bla nebebisa no na wanchira wasi e question bia upesi ubisa ni bia no bla nebebisa no na wanchira wasi e ene ya ma questions ni mube miensa ya ma questions bia miensa umubi sana o gane ene de ototo papa so nyina mo mienko nyenkotie ene meet the press no the ekoso ewo moving pick aha e yo bin for radio ten times so mo mienkotie bi mra former president mahama on his campaign tour in western north region claim cocoa board is on the verge of collapse do you believe cocoa board has collapsed and what is your plans for cocoa board um cocoa board it's on the verge of collapse. Um, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that, uh, but uh, we'll, we will we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I cannot comment on that. Um, it's, it's not, um, I, I don't know where the data is coming from. My name is Nanaya Okesi. I work with PCFM. You have promised abolishing birth tax, e levy, flat import duty one time tax amnesty among others. If you really believe that that is what Ghana needs, why should we wait till you become the president and not implement it now? Was that we wanted to do these tax reforms, import duty, flat tax, tax amnesty, and so on. But why don't I do it? now and and why do i want to i must have a manifesto otherwise if i do everything now <laughs> if i could <laughs> what would i do when i come into office <laughs> i mean how can you do everything now um, uh, even president mahama former president who is who was president i'm only vice president but he was president why didn't he do everything then I mean, why is he coming back? He had full authority. I don't have full authority. The budget that has gone to parliament, which has been passed, is not my budget. Is it my budget? It's not my budget. The budget goes in the name of the president. It doesn't go in the name of the vice president. But when you have to think about what new do you want to do, you come up with new ideas. And I've come up with new ideas which I want to do when we come into office. Everyone who is running for office, 
whether you are Kamala Harris or you are Baumia, you still have to think about what you have to do when you get into office. And this is why I'm presenting my new ideas uh, as to what to do. Um, before I proceed to ask my questions, I would like to um, emphatically state that these questions were not given to me by anyone here. Um, they are from my head, so I'm going to ask. Now, uh, Mr. Vice President, my name is Koji Sheldon. I represent Koji Sheldon Studios. Um, the first one is about 322 pharmaceutical doctors uh, on social media right now are planning on suing the health ministry uh, about unpaid you know, allowances. Now, for someone that has highlighted in your manifesto that when voted into power, you are going to you know, improve or help improve the condition of services when it comes to conditions of service, when it comes to our health people. For right now that you are the vice president, what can you do to help these pharmaceutical you know, uh, doctors who are you know, contemplating on suing uh, the Ministry of you know, Health? My second question bothers... No, no, could you? Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that to me. Mr. Rao, Mr. Mr. Rao, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, Mr. Mr. Rao. Oh, no, no. Oh, see, the question is... Eh. one question. Oh, boss. One, one. One question. So my question, the second question is about perception. Don't do that. Boss. Don't do that. Oh, bro. Don't do that. The, the, the I didn't allow... Bella. Perception is very, very, very important. Back. I'll come back to you. The pharmacists are my very good friends. Um, we... we but you're talking about 322 pharmaceutical doctors who are threatening to sue the Ministry of Health for their allowances. Um, again, I, I want to take this one up. I'm, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about this particular issue. Uh, I think it is Sheldon who raised it. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of it, but I think it's an important issue um, that we, we should really um, resolve. Um, so we'll, we'll talk to the Ministry uh, of Health and, and Finance. Uh, thank you very much. So my, my question is coming from a group of students on scholarship abroad they are concerned that the scholarship secretariat is not doing what it has to do for them. At page 27 of your manifesto, you speak about harmonizing public uh, scholarships. And there's a purpose for it. You say the purpose is to give full visibility. Beyond the visibility, what will you do about this? now and not later. They, they are some of them for 20 months they have not received their stipends. In a number of universities in the UK, in Warwick, Coventry, Nottingham, they are under threat of losing their studentship. In Birmingham, 11 of them have already been withdrawn and they are facing deportation. Will you inquire, particularly knowing about the Fourth Estate's investigations dubbed Scholarship Bonanza, about what appears to be a racketeering in that place? And will you forbid and prohibit politically exposed persons wealthy enough, known in society, I think from accessing the, these thank scholarships. You, Samson. Thank you. I think the question is very well. Samson uh, talked about the scholarship uh, students and, and, and all of that. And I think this is a very, very important issue. Um, there's nothing more heart wrenching than taking a student abroad and not being able to take care of them um, in, 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 in those circumstances. And I think that. Um, I believe, and this is what we are saying, that one needs to, first of all, harmonize these databases so that you have full visibility and transparency. Um, and, and also, uh, we, we have undertaken in the manifesto to publish all the 
beneficiaries of, of all of these uh, scholarships as they come so that everybody knows who is getting the scholarships and so on. Um, and again, uh, I've been, um, been made very aware of this issue. It's not, um, it's not new um, because students have even, and parents have gotten in touch with me uh, about the awards and, and, and the scholarships and so on. So we're talking with the uh, Ministry of Finance and the Scholarship Secretariat. Uh, I think they were able to to make some payments to, to some of the UK students and so on. But we will follow up on that because it's very urgent. Um, the first question had to do with NAPCO, um, the Nation Builders Corps in the areas that um, have been owed um, to, to NAPCO. Um, I think that the, the program had about 100,000 people on it, and I, I think initially it was supposed to be uh, a three-year program, um, and then would be renewed and so on. But I think that so far, out of the 100,000 that were taken, 34,000 have exited into permanent jobs under NAPCO, and the others I, uh, I still, but I think that the issue that uh, Bella raises is the arrears and, and how we are going to deal with it. I've raised this issue this, because this is not really uh, a, a, this is some information that has come to me already about the arrears in the NAPCO program, and I've raised this issue um, with the Minister for finance um, and, and trying to, to persuade them to, to, to make uh, these arrears payments. So we will co follow that up on behalf of the, the NAPCO uh, employees. The second issue had to do with uh, providing better health care in the manifesto and the issue of cars and how these um, will affect local companies. But we will leave it open.